Can you imagine being just nestled in the man beefers of Jonathan Joe star chat? They're so big. They look so soft, but firm. They're soft, but firm. And he's just like, you know what? This is okay. He's like, you know what, Jojo? We've, we've been through a lot. <laughs> we've been through a lot together. Jojo's like, yeah, we have. All right, let's go ahead and move on to my review, my spoiler review, my scene by scene by scene by scene breakdown to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Episode 9. Uh, give you a brief recap of uh, Episode 8 chat. JoJo Joestar and his ally seemingly defeated, seemingly killed Dio the Vampire Lord. Like, you know... JoJo hit him with that fucking Haymon energy punch. It started disintegrating his body chat. And he started falling off that cliff, falling off the balcony of his ma ma magnificent, you know, castle. Dio's evil finally seemed like it was vanquished for all eternity. But no, he, no. <laughs> because we immediately cut. We immediately cut to that after he's knocked off and his body starts disintegrating. He starts the panic as he's falling. He's like, oh, oh, I got to move my arm to my head. And so Dio decides to use his arm that's still corporeal uh, and cuts off his own head. I guess severing his head from his body, which was just withering and dying. And I guess, yeah, if you just cut your head off, you'll be a-okay, right? It's, just, it's that kind of thing. So... His his head falls to, uh, falls to the ground, and uh, is later rescued. Is picked up by Wayne Chan. Now you guys are probably asking yourselves, who the fuck is Wayne Chan? Even I didn't know at first, but Wayne Chan, guys, he's the he's the Asian man. They even call him the he's the Asian medicine man from episode three. He's the one that uh, Dio bought the Asian medicine from. That was but wasn't it wasn't technically medicine, Chad. Apparently, Asian medicine, what we came to learn, is poison. <laughs> so I forgot because I, I thought that guy died. I didn't know what happened to him. In episode three, because as you, as you remember, like, Dio puts the mask on, turns into a vampire, you know, he ends up killing the policeman and the investigator there, uh, Lord Joestar dies, right? And then, of course, Jojo battles him, and you think he defeated him there, but, but no. And I guess this also explains as to how maybe Dio survived the events of that episode, because I was like, well, it looks like he got impaled, and then it looks like his body disintegrated and burned away. But maybe he just cut his head off at, like, at that point. Maybe he's like, ah, oh, shit. And so maybe then, you know, this this, this guy, the the uh, uh, Wayne Chan, like saved him. I don't know. Feels like he's done it before. But in any case, in any case, Wayne Chan's like, oh, my lord. And he's like, ah, thank you for saving me. We must, we must uh, get out of here because I have been weakened by, by Joe Star and his allies. And they, and they, and they leave, they leave. And then, uh, we have uh, the narrator come in, and he's talking about how the papers are, like re reported apparently on this event, which all transpired like over a single night, which is fucking nuts. So everything with Buford, Knight Buford, and Tarkus, and them uh, attacking, uh, you know, Dio's castle, and meeting characters like, you know, obviously the death of of. Um, Zapelli, I mean, other ones like, you know, Master Tunpenny and Dyer and everybody's crazy, right? And so that all transpired overnight, and the papers are covering this. Uh, and I guess they said that in this community, like 70 plus, like 74, how many people were like uh, kidnapped and and killed and there's no explanation to it but then there were, apparently there was uh, uh, sightings of, of Jojo and his various allies right just mourning uh, the dead mourning their, their their people that died you know specifically Dyer who got frozen his head got chopped off and then you know of course um, Zapelli who was um, killed by Tarkus and um, they also destroyed the stone mask, though. They get that stone mask, and they, 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 they destroy that shit, shit. They break it apart. They get this big old fucking hammer, and they just take turns whacking it over and over and over again. And so Zapelli's quest, despite him dying, despite him expiring, chat, it, it was accomplished. They destroyed the evil of the vampiric stone mask. It's like, oh, and everyone, everything's great. They all start celebrating. And they all go back home, and Jojo, he finally gets hitched. He gets his wagon hitched, chat. He gets married to uh, Arena. 
and they have this beautiful wedding, and everyone's celebrating and stuff. It's it's just great. It's just wonderful. And apparently, JoJo and Arena, there it's like sometime afterwards, however many weeks or months or something afterwards, they're like, you know what? We're we gotta go on a honeymoon. A lot of crazy stuff has has been happening. It's like, yes, my house burned down. My dad's dead. My my adopted brother became a vampire lord. He's tried to kill me multiple times. He's killed a lot of my friends. But you know what? I need I need some time for for myself and for my wife. And so they want to go and uh, take this um, this trip across the sea uh, on this beautiful uh, boat chat uh, to see America. Hell yeah, right? And uh, Speedwagon, we cut to Speedwagon. He's in a coffee shop, and he's thinking about all this stuff. He's like, oh, shit, today's the day. They're going to go off, and they're going to they're gonna go uh, on their honeymoon. I got I to gotta send them off. I, gotta, I have to say goodbye to them and tell them how much I appreciate them and their friendship, and I'm wishing them the, the best of luck on their honeymoon, right? And so... He goes, he goes there. Everyone else is there, Chad. You got Master Tunpenny and things. You got all of his students and, and other acolytes. Uh, you have uh, Poco and his sister there. They're all there. And, you know, and, you know, Speedwagon, he goes up and he's trying to join them. But he ends up bumping. He ends up bumping into this, uh, into this worker. Into this worker, and he falls. He's like, "Ah!" Oh, he falls over, and the worker is like, "Ah! Oh, can't you see we're walking here?" Because they're carrying this like very heavy box, and we realize like, "Huh? Oh, it's a casket. That's weird." <laughs> That's a little. That's a little odd, and the guy's like, "Ah, man, I can't. I just can't deal with these people. I got this jabroni bumping into me, and then, and this is his words, not mine, Chad. His words, not mine. And he's like, I had to deal with that weird Asian guy <laughs> making me carry this heavy casket on the boat for some reason. I just love any time." They refer to like an Asian character. It's always as in the in the pejorative. <laughs> it's like, God damn, man. This weird Asian man and his weird Asian medicine, which is aka poison chat. But they load that thing up there. And Joe, Joe, and Arena, they're saying goodbye to everyone. They're hugging, they're kissing and stuff. Speedwagon wishes his his best friend very well. And Arena and JoJo, they bore. They start waving goodbye. Poco, he's running, you know, as the boat, you know, gets out of the harbor. He's like, goodbye, Mr. and Mrs. Joe Star. I hope you have a wonderful time on your trip. And JoJo's like, yeah, and everyone's happy, right? It's just great. It's, every, it's a wonderful little cute epilogue, right? Uh, and then it's sometime later. And Arena, she's on a, she's on the on the deck of the boat, right? She's taking in the beautiful horizon. The sun is setting and stuff. And she's like, oh, my tummy. It's like, oh, my tummy. She's getting like a little nauseous for some reason. She just feels she's rubbing her belly. She's like, oh. Um, but then she sees this bird. She sees this bird. Suddenly it lands like right on the boat, right on the railing. And it's a big fat bird. It's just like, oh. Oh, but it's not fat, chat. Well, it kind of is fat. It's prego. It's a very pregnant bird. And she's like, oh, you poor thing. What happened? And she's like, you're going to. And then she like looks up and she sees this flock of birds. It's like, oh, no, they're leaving behind. But then the, the, the mate, the mate of the very pregnant bird lands right next to his very pregnant uh, uh, bird wife. And they start nuzzling stuff. And she's like, oh, and she starts rubbing her tummy. Chad's like, oh, what is it? You got the bubbly guts? Or is that a is there a baby in that in that uh, belly bump? We don't know yet because JoJo suddenly greets her. He's like, Arena. And she's like, oh, JoJo, so good to see you. And he's like, what are you doing, silly head? And he's like, oh, I'm just taking in the, that sea air. It just felt a little queasy. He's like, ah, yeah, first time on a boat. She's like, yeah, first time on a boat. And I was just like looking at the birds and how cute they were and everything. And I just have something really important to tell you. And it's like, you know what? Tell me at dinner. We have these reservations. They got a whole fucking spread. We got to go ahead. We got to go ahead. We got to check out that spread. And, they, and he turns around, fucking knocks himself out. <laughs> it's his head on top of the, of the, of the, of the door frame. Because he's like seven feet fucking tall. And he's got these huge broad shoulders, Chad. I mean, he is a luscious piece of man meat, right? And he falls over. And he's like, are you okay? He's like, yeah, you know, just, you know, just hit my head. And he's like, oh, you're so silly. And, and then they, they eventually, they go to dinner. They go to dinner. Uh, meanwhile, they pass by this drunk guy who's just, just straight up drinking from this bottle of wine. Should have been a jug, Che, if you want to do it properly. But he's drinking his bottle jug wine, and he has like this uh, uh, jeweled cross, right? Because he's like a rich guy. And for whatever reason, he drops it and it falls through this uh, grate. Fall through, uh, falls through this grate into the, um, the, the, the storage 
area of the ship where you have a lot of people's like uh, luggage and like all their you know, you know tools, equipment, and stuff. And it lands right on top of the casket. He's like, ah, oh, no, ah, oh, why'd I do that? God damn it! I gotta go down there and grab it. Oh well, okay, I'll do just that. And um, eventually, we cut to Arena and and JoJo, and they're getting their food served and stuff. And JoJo's enjoying some wine, but you know, Arena's not drinking anyway. He's like, "You want some wine, Arena?" And she's like, "I've never had alcohol before." And he's like, "You should have it. You'll love it." And she's like, "I don't know if I should." And she's rubbing her tummy again. And he's like, "Oh, no, just a little, just a few sips, a few sips." And she takes it, and she immediately is just like, "Ooh," her you know cheeks get all rosy and stuff. And she's wearing this beautiful dress, Chad, and it's showing off her, her her curves and everything. And JoJo, he just he's just staring at his at her boobs. He's like, ah man, I I I really I I I I I I really won this at life. I really won at life, despite everything that's happened to me, you know, and all the all the misfortunes and things, and you know, the loss of my of my ancestral home and the death of my father. And the death of several of my friends and the loss of my, my brother, who really wasn't my brother, but kind of a piece of shit of a human being. And technically wasn't a human being because he became a vampire. Lord. Despite all that, I, at least I hooked up with, with a hot chick with big boobs. So, you know what? You got to take, take the good with the bad. <laughs> so he's pretty happy with that. And, uh, but he notices. He notices over Arena's shoulder chat, as, as he says, a weird Asian man. <laughs> he's like... Who the hell's that weird Asian man? And he realizes, like, oh, shit. And he's just, like, in the corner, just like, yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Just looking at him. Like, does no one else see the, as the episode says, weird Asian man in the corner? Apparently not. And he's like, oh, shit. It's that guy who was selling the Asian medicine to Dio, but it wasn't actually Asian medicine, Chad. It was poison. <laughs> and he's like, oh, fuck. What's he doing here? <gasps> oh, no. Is Dio alive? Is Dio here? And then he just, before the Asian man spots, like, well, actually, the Asian man's been walking, uh, but Wayne Chan, he's been watching uh, JoJo the whole time. And before he, like, jumps around, like, starts spider manning up a wall and out of sight, he does he does this thing of a thing, goes, ah, 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 ah. he does that at, at JoJo, almost mocking him. And he scampers away. And JoJo's like, ah, fucking shit. I can't believe it. I got to go after him. And he's like, Garena, I need to stay here. I'll, I'll be right back. I just need to investigate something. She's like, JoJo, what's wrong? He's like, don't worry. Everything's fine. And he leaves. I would have told her. I would have fucking, he, he's always leaving and not telling her stuff. He's like, she's your fucking wife. At least do that. Okay? I mean, I think she deserves that at the very least. Christ, she's had to put up a lot of bullshit over these years. Anyway, uh, he, he goes, uh, but as that happens, <laughs> As that happens, suddenly, like, several tab uh, tables down from them, like, a guy sitting next to his wife just starts going, and he turns into a fucking vampire and just bites her head off. And it's like, oh, shit. So Wayne Chan has apparently uh, infected other people on the boat, and it's just going to cause uh, chaos. But um, we cut from that. And we're focusing on the drunk guy again. The drunk guy, he's gone down the storage area. He's picked up his jeweled cross, but he's just like, ah, oh, what is this box? Oh, and he look, it has all this jewelry. It's bedazzled, chat. It's bedazzled it's all to hell. And he's like, I should open this up. And he looks at the lock, and it looks like, oh, it looks like a pretty tough lock, but he starts, you know, finagling it, you know, using them fingers for the finagling. And suddenly... <laughs> This this jeweled pink ball like starts spinning and he looks in and goes boop and it shoots out and hits his head, explodes the front of his face, chat. Just ah, he's like ah, 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 and his like his eyeballs have exploded out of his face. His like his nose is gone, his 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 mouth's been cut vertically. He's just ah, 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 I, I, I sometimes forget. Like every time I watch this show, I, I, I always forget like how violent it can get. How gory and goopy it can get. I'm going to tell you right now, this is a very gory and goopy episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, right? Uh, but he eventually expires. And then uh, the weird Asian man, also known as AKA Wayne Chan, he arrives and he's like, Fool, you should not mess with the resting place of my lord Dio. It's like, oh shit, Dio's left. And so he opens the casket and. <laughs> And he takes out Dio, who is in, basically, he's in this fishbowl. 
his head's in this fishbowl, similar to how the characters are in uh, uh, Futurama. He's like in a jar. He's just a jarred head at this point. He's kind of floating around in there. He says, yes! Have you started to infect the crew and the passengers of the ship? Uh-oh, I'm spinning around. I'm spinning around. Hold on, I'll come. Oh, hold on. <laughs> when he gets back to it, he gets back to it. And he's like, and you start infecting the, the, the crew, Wayne Chase. Like, I've done that. They've already tearing the place apart. But then who arrives just in the nick of time? Fucking Jonathan Joe star, Jojo himself. And he locks eyes with Dio. And he's like, Dio! And Dio's like, Jojo! And it's like, oh, shit. And it's like, I thought I killed you. I thought I defeated you. He's like, hey, maybe third time's the charm, motherfucker, but you couldn't defeat me. As I was falling off of my Castlevania castle, I cut my own head off, and my buddy Wayne Chan, who I bought the, the Asian medicine from, a.k.a. Poison, saved me, and so here I am. And then uh, Wayne Chan, he just he just starts he just starts like mocking JoJo. He just starts mocking him. It's like you're a fool to think that you can defeat someone as powerful as Lord Dio. You're you, I don't care how you know what Haymon energy, whatever you got. You're weak, JoJo. You're weak and you're foolish, and you will meet your end. And Dio straight up tells Wayne Chan, "Hey, hey, hey!" And Wayne Chan's like, "What? What? 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 What is it, Master?" He's like, "Don't talk to him that way." He's like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "Don't talk to him that way." Okay. The one thing I've 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 learned in my in my near death experiences is that JoJo is 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 not a person that is deserving of mockery. He is a man deserving of of respect. Okay, he has defeated me. All right, and I will admit that. I will admit that here. He has been more powerful th than than me, and I have lost. I mean, I have been humbled by his by his his victories, and I I, I thought I would never say this to you, brother. But, but I have a profound amount of respect for you. And JoJo's like, oh, uh, uh, well, thank you. Uh, that's, that's nice of you to say. He's like, yes. And that is why I will cut off your head and put my head on your luscious, bulky body. <laughs> that's how much I respect you. I want to be inside you, JoJo. I will be you. And JoJo's like, well, we can't have that. <laughs> We can't, I can't, we can't have that. And as soon as they start talking about being inside each other, Arena arrives and she's like, oh, my tummy. And she's like, what the fuck is going on? What's happening here? And uh, JoJo's like, it's, there's, there's a lot of crazy shit happening, Arena. This is Dio. He's my brother. She's like, I remember this fucker. He, is, he sexually assaulted me all those years ago. And JoJo's like, he sexually assaulted you? She's like, yeah, I never brought it up. Just always thought it was kind of like awkward, right? And then the whole ship just devolves into chaos at this point. Like that one guy just starts biting people, infecting people. And soon the whole crew and all these patches just start becoming vampire zombies. We follow this one young couple chat, this one husband. He never said a fuck. He's like, oh, oh, he was kind of chubby. He was like, oh, he was running. He gets... He gets thwacked so hard, his fucking brain just, like, his head just explodes. He, like, he, he gets hit in the back of the head, which explodes the back of his head, and he, and he, and he just f face plants on the ground, face explodes, and his brain just shoots out. It's all goopy and gory. The wife, his young wife, is just holding his baby. She's like, oh, my God. And this one zombie, like, has an axe. And the wife's like, I ain't going out that way. You already dirt my baby. She straight up just... From what I could tell, yeets herself through this wooden wall. She yeets herself through this wall and and basically destroys the back of her head. She's dead, and uh, uh, and she crashes into the whole scene with with JoJo and Dina and the the weird Asian guy, aka uh, Wayne Chan. <laughs> Uh, and just lands there and kind of like in front of him in the middle of the room and they're like, whoa. And JoJo is like, your evil will finally end here, Dio. And Dio's like, my, my evil will spread across the land. Laser eyes! And he's like, oh shit. Like he tricked JoJo, checks. You thought he was about to go off on this whole fucking monologue and how my evil will spread across the world and I'll go to America and I'll do it that. No, he fucking tricks him. He tricks him. And he laser eyes um, JoJo, which we saw in the previous episode, Chad. Like, his last thing, when he shot out that laser beam from his eye, and it fucking went through JoJo. JoJo's like, ow, because Dio remembered that. He's like, oh, that really fucked him up. And he does it, Chad. And the lasers go, 
right through JoJo's neck. And he's got a fucking thick tree trunk of a neck, as you guys know. Goes, shoots right through all the way out. JoJo's like, oh, 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 and he starts choking. He starts choking on his on his on his own blood. And, and and Dio explains, I've severed your neck arteries, and you will slowly die. And it's like, oh my god. And he's just choking. He's like, I didn't want to have to do that to you, brother. I would have made it a quick death, but you brought me no other uh, other choice. And so at this point, uh, you know, Marina's just screaming. She's like, what the fuck's going on? Like she's just so scared at this point. And the baby's crying, and everything. And JoJo's like on his knees, and and uh, JoJo realizes that he's like, oh shit, because he severed my neck arteries, I can't use my Hamon energy. I barely have any left in my body because he requires the the flow of the blood, right? At least that's what Zapelli said. And Dio orders uh, Wayne uh, to cut off JoJo's head, but painlessly, painlessly, because he's deserving of of respect, right? Before I take over his body. And uh, Wayne goes, he, he has, he fucking just carries, he just carries Dio around with him. <laughs> his, little, his little jar, his pickle jar. They go over there, and um, Wayne's about to sever JoJo's head. But JoJo, apparently he is able to muster, he is able to use the last bit of, of Haymon energy, and he, he puts it all into his fingertips and goes, ah, and thrusts it right under the head of Wayne Chan. Wayne Chan's like, uh-oh, and his head explodes. <laughs> his head explodes. And Dio's like, oh, no. He fa- the jar falls, and he starts rolling around. Actually, what he does is pretty funny. When he explodes in, the jar falls, it crashes, but then Dio apparently can just float around with his head now. He's just kind of floating around. He's like, ah, oh, shit, well, that's inconvenient. But what happens is, is the blast, it, like it explodes the head of Wayne Chan, a.k.a. the weird Asian guy, everyone's been calling him that, and uh, it launches his body uh, over uh, the, like, the storage area, and apparently the storage area was also where they're keeping, like it's all the gears, it's all the gears, it's the whole apparatus of the ship, and his body gets stuck in all the gears and starts getting all crunched up and stuff, and it just stops. So none of the pistons are working, none of the valves are turning chat, and it's causing the whole thing to malfunction and 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 overheat. And it's just clogging them up of all that, all that, you know, uh uh. Uh, vampire zombie goop. It's like this is not good. And Dio realizes this. He's like, "Oh shit! This is this is not good. I we we I got to get on that body very quick, right?" And he's like, "I can't have the boat explode because then I'll just be exposed to the sunlight, you know, in the water. Then I'll die permanently." Arena again has no idea what the fuck's going on at this point. She runs over. She waddles over to JoJo. And and JoJo's just like, oh, I'm sorry, Arena. I'm so sorry, but I'm fucking dying over here. And she's like, no, if you're going to die, then I'm going to die with you. Um, and JoJo's like, and they they kiss, they make out and do all that. It's like, ah, oh, let's, let's die together. So romantic. But JoJo's like, you can't die. You can't die because you got to save the baby. And she's like, what? He's like, well, the baby. The, the baby that the woman was uh, was holding before. It's crying and shit. The baby doesn't know what the hell's going on. He's like, you got to save that that baby. I can't do it myself because I'm dying. And it's like, you need to live. You need to live for not just for me, but for yourself. And you got to save that kid. Like my whole life, you know, it's I've I've. When I was young, I was I, I had these grand asp- aspirations and ambitions and things, and I, it, it made me uh, ignorant to what was around me. I was surrounding myself with with wealth, but I was humbled when Dio. He's all explaining this right here and right now. He's all explaining this, and he's just like I, it's it's made me realize in the last few years that the things I I, I care most about are, are people like like you, you know, loved ones and and, and good friends. And those things should be protected uh, at, at all costs. And I, I don't want you dying for me when I know that you could, you could live uh, a, a, a wonderful life afterwards. And so please save the baby. And she's like, okay, I'll save the baby. But she wasn't thinking that that was the baby she was talking about. Uh, but she goes over there. 
and she and she grabs she grabs the the baby. Dio, meanwhile, is like fuck the because the whole ship starts blowing up. It starts it, everything's on fire. He orders his uh, zombie vampires to start eating the flesh of of Wayne Chan, but it's like it's it's just getting to the point where it's too late. Dio is just like, ah, god damn it. Well, you know what? Fuck it. I, I gotta take over your body now, right? He, tr he, he goes to, he, he shoots out these giant arteries from his neck, like tentacle arteries. They're all floppy. And they go to attack um, Jojo, right? But Jojo, as the, and they, wrap, they, like, they stab him and stuff, and they start wrapping around his body. And Dio, like, yeets himself at, at Jojo. But then Jojo, what he does is he picks up, like, some shrapnel or stuff, or, like, uh, this broken material, basically. And it's, like, basically a knife. And as Dio approaches him, he goes, bah! And he stabs him. He stabs, like, Dio in the side of his face. He's like, ah, oh, shit! And then... Jojo then hugs the head of Dio and and right in, right into his is his chest into his man beefer's chat and it's like there's no escape at that point. Dio realizes like oh my fucking god I'm going to die <laughs> like this is it third time's the charm wow and he's like and and he's just like holding him he's just holding him while Rena she runs over to the the dead woman. Uh, who is still holding the baby. She grabs the baby and she heads over to the casket. She gets in the casket and she's just looking at, she's looking at Jojo and Jojo makes eye contact with her and he's like, I love you, Arena. I'll always love you. And she's like, I always love you, Jojo. And she closes the, the lid of the casket and, you know, Dio is just struggling to escape and Jojo is just like, brother, you got to stop this. You need to stop. And, and Dio, he finally just kind of start, stops struggling. And he just kind of relaxes. He just, because you know what? It's being, can you imagine being just nestled in the man beefers of Jonathan Joe Star Chat? They're so big. They look so soft, but firm. They're soft, but firm. And he's just like, you know what? This is okay. He's like, you know what, JoJo? We've, we've been through a lot. <laughs> we've been through a lot together. JoJo's like, yeah, we have. And he's like, hey, listen, I, I know that I've, tr I've taken a lot from you and I've killed a lot of people, you know, and friends of yours and your dad. But I, I'm, I was honest, you know, I respect you. I respect you more than anyone else in my entire life. You know, I, I just want to tell you that. And JoJo's like, you know, I should hate you, Dio, for everything that you've done and taken from me. But in those, in those years where we were pretending everything was okay, you know, when we were kids, I... It, it, I was actually happy. I was happy. I was happy that you were my, my, my brother. And I, and I never would have said this back then, but I, but I love you, Dio. I love you. And Dio looks at him and he's like, you're such a fucking boom. And the whole fucking ship blows up, chat. The whole fucking ship blows up, killing Jonathan Joe Star and Dio Brando both. And uh, it's it's however uh, you know long afterwards we're at sea in the middle of the ocean and we, it's all this debris everywhere. But then we see the casket. The casket survived the blast because it was huge. It's also made out of some metallic material. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. In any case, uh, it opens up. It opens up and it's Arena there and she has the baby and the baby's okay and she's like I I will I will I will do the best I can. Uh, I will we will survive together. You know, um, if I can't find your family, I, I'll raise you myself. I'll raise you and I'll raise the child that is in my belly right now. And she was pregnant, chat. She was pregnant, which first of all, I would have definitely told D D D D Jojo that, you know, before he died, like, I'm, I'm pregnant, okay? You know, and I don't know why she's like, I'll die with you. It's like, fuck that, you're pregnant. Fucking, you know, live for him. He would want, you know, he wanted her to live anyway, but still. But she's like, I'm going to raise this baby. I'm going to raise the baby in my belly. And it's like, ah, there you go, Chad. There you go. The future of the Joe stars is, is secured. And, and yes, this, this adventure, this bizarre adventure with JoJo is over. But I'm sure there are many more adventures to come for the descendants of Jonathan Joestar. And that, my friends, is my review, my spoiler review, my scene by scene by scene <gasps> by scene breakdown to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Episode 9. I didn't expect him to die. 
I was shocked by it. I was like, oh, my God, they're killing him. It's happening. It's happening. Uh, and they did it, Chad. They did it. They killed him. Um, great episode, though. Very good episode. I, one thing I appreciate about this series, I mean, many things I appreciate about this series, but they don't have any filler. You know, they get to the point pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure Dio will never, uh, I'm sure he's dead forever. I'm sure he'll never come back. <laughs> and with that, Dio is dead forever. No one will ever see him again, ever. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, this is the first finale of season one. Or is this, is this, is this, is season one done? And now it's just season two. I have to check, I have to check. Because this was episode nine, I don't know if there was like, they had some weird thing. Uh, I didn't, I, I, I didn't look ahead uh, too much, but I did notice that, oh, arc, it's just like the end of this arc, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, but apparently the next episode does take place in America, I did see that, so I was like, oh, interesting. But I don't know what happens afterwards, so we'll see. So yeah, it's basically like I finished the Saiyan arc of Dragon Ball Z, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so yeah, overall, like this arc in general, I guess this, I should also make this kind of like, um, Arc one, season one, part one, uh, re you know, review. Um, no, I, I, I really enjoyed this, this, this season, this specific storyline, storyline following Jonathan Joe Star and Dio Brando. The ending, or excuse me, the beginning was just really interesting to me. Like those first, really two episodes, where it kind of started out like a uh, talented Mr. Ripley salt burn situation, right? Uh, where you have this very strange clearly psychotic person coming to live at this opulent manner and trying to destroy uh, the life of, you know, the the main lead character, blame him for everything, stuff like, oh, I got you invested. It was very grounded. And then, um, you know, episode, th really episode three on, it just it just continued to escalate more and more and more and getting these um, uh, ridiculous uh, uh, and very funny supporting characters, sometimes terrifying characters. Um, some great action sequences uh, in this in this first part, I would say. Some really cool just animation in, in general. I like, like how they play around with the color palette a lot. They, they do that in between just certain scenes. Makes it, you know, visually uh, more interesting to to look at. You don't know what, what, what color someone's going to be in the next scene because they'll, they'll switch it around, play with it. Um, there, if I have one criticism of it, they do do a, they do a, like a lot of just crazy like, all right, we're gonna teach you about Heyman energy now. We're gonna teach you about this technique and that technique. But I get it. I think I think they're almost doing it in a cheeky manner though, where you know because you had Dragon Ball and, and other animes, of course, other shonen animes that have introduced like new forms, uh, evolutions, you know, new you know, fighting techniques and moves. Everyone you know feels the need to shout out and stuff and. I feel like they were doing it in such a way. It just it happened very quickly, because like of Dragon Ball, it was like, well, there's three episodes of filler trying to learn this new move or this new form or, or what have you, or entire season. But I feel like they maybe were doing it so quickly because they were kind of critiquing that kind of thing, uh, and that maybe at times it made me go like, okay, what what move is this again? <laughs> what, what what is this new thing we're introducing? And so maybe that felt like a little overwhelming sometimes, especially when I was just doing the reviews. Uh, but, but despite that criticism, how this how this wraps up and um, just this finale, sad, sad finale, uh, with the end of uh, Jonathan and you know seemingly finally truly happy for the first time in the longest time, uh, and that's taken away from him. You know, his wife is, I mean, well, he is, well, his own life, of course. I mean, she gets to live on with their unborn, you know, child, and I assume this new child that they've adopted. Um, but I did like the, the ending and the sequence and, you know, the, 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 the latest death of Dio. <laughs> Which, I, again, I'm sure that he's going to come back. <laughs> I'm sure he'll come back in some way. But, uh, but overall, uh, very, uh, very fun, very good. Uh, arc, arc one, part one, season one for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm looking forward to uh, the next season. Looking forward to doing uh, reviews for that starting next week. Can't wait. Can't wait. What about you guys? Hope, you, hope you've been enjoying these reviews both for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and Madoka Magic. It's been fun. Uh, and Malcolm's Burst, and I have to thank for this too. Thank you again, Malcolm. Season 2 pops off in the manga. Those training sections were all done in one panel. Oh, really? Oh, that's funny. So they are, they're, they're being cheeky with it. Okay. Montage panel. If you ever check out the manga, each page is a piece of... Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. But yeah, very enjoyable. Now part two. Oh, this part two is Edgy's favorite part? Nice. Brother. So good Asian medicine. <laughs> A.K.A. poison. 